Hey, hey, this is David. If you are an existing tax client of mine, then you would know who I am. And if you are a new tax client of mine, I'm so glad to have you and to introduce you to what you see on the screen. And we're going to go on with this presentation. I'm not going to take up too much of your time, but I want to take up enough time for you to make a, a quick decision or a sound decision on all the information that I'm going to present to you in this presentation. How to set up a tax deductible inexpensive home based business to start under the new tax law this tax year in 2019, which is you file it now, upcoming a few days from now in January. The 2018 law that changed on January the 1st of 2018, you've had a whole year now, and I can suggest that you may want to pay close attention to what we are going to be covering in this presentation. Should you decide to start a home-based business for a $20 one-time out-of-pocket startup fee, you can do that at Money Is My Plan B. I hope for you to go there and watch that because it's a video explaining to you why you would want to have this process. And I'm going to go through this presentation to show you why you would want to have this process using the travel and the lifestyle process. I do really want you to hear the word lifestyle because there are about 8 billion people on the globe and all 8 billion people live a form of a lifestyle. And now the new town the tax law in America, you can deduct a whole lot of things from your lifestyle. The law changed, and many people think that it's changed for the worse, but nothing, God's not going to send anything to you that will hurt you. So whatever the change is, it's for your benefit, and you're going to take benefit of the new change, and you're going to find out that money funds your lifestyle. So you see on the screen, money funds my lifestyle. Well, it does mine, and I hope that it does also fund your lifestyle. And I want you to visit that website to show you the different kinds of lifestyle that you're going to be afforded under this new law that's going to take advantage of the law. You most likely would need to use the new law in the 2019 year in order for you to, you know, to make up for the losses you're going to have in the 2019 if you have not already done so. So we're going to proceed with this process, this process and I'm going to now. Let you see who I am to the new persons. My name is David Richardson. I'm a graduate of the University of Arkansas. I have a couple of degrees after graduating from the master uh, in the uh, University of Arkansas and a master's degree in accounting and management information system. Had extensive studying the CPA review classes before I took the CPA exam. And I've been self-employed now since 1981, working in the tax profession as since 1968, so I've been around for a couple of days. I want to introduce you to my cashback bank. My cashback bank is, let's start the word imply, it is cashback, and I use it as a bank, and it's in the form of a debit card. I'm going to introduce all that to you and within this process. So let us go on with this process. It's going to be kind of long, but yet short in terms of giving you the information that we're talking about. And what we're actually talking about is you having a travel and lifestyle business. You'll see it on the screen it says travel 10. Well, you notice the two people on the, on the screen is also in the lifestyle. So it is a travel and lifestyle process and you can have more benefits out of your lifestyle than you can travel. Because many of us, like myself, don't always travel, even though I'm going to show you how I recently did travel and the purpose for the travel is to run the business that I'm going to be introducing to you. So travel and lifestyle is the business concept that we are presenting here that both words and both words are the means for you to take advantage of the 2018 tax law and the years to come because recently the law changed in 2018 and there had been over 30, 40 years since it had changed. So for the next year, years you're going to be under this new tax law and living travel and lifestyle process if you should travel you're going to be able to write that off on your income tax and if you don't should you continue to live your lifestyle whatever form of lifestyle you live you're going to be able to write that off as well we're going to go on with the presentation and show you regardless of where you see it or how it's going to present itself to you my income tax video and i'm showing you the process of how you can see all different kinds of videos my income tax video is a means for you to get an understanding of the different kinds of things that you're going to need to do in order to take advantage of the new tax law. Even though you have recently uh, lived this 2018 year, we're now in the latter part of the 2018 year and our government is closed down now. It's going to reopen, I hope. But if it doesn't, then what we're talking about is you having your own 
business for $20. We're going to be talking about it. I'm going to keep emphasizing that because you would really not be doing yourself a service if you miss this because for less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, you can have a business one time out of pocket fee for $10 and only $10 a month are operated, which is uh, overhead. That's all tax deductible. The $20 that we're going to be talking about is tax deductible. It shows the $10 for you to have an online lifestyle operations for you and your family to go through. Help me prepare my income tax return. That's a means also to explain to you how and why I can help you prepare your income tax. Will I do your income tax or not? Just keep the same person or your individual, whoever you have done. If you do them yourself, I thank you for doing that. But regardless of who you prepare your income tax, the information that we're talking about giving you will help prepare your income tax. So help me prepare my income tax return. Are you asking yourself to help you prepare your income tax return? And you're going to go to that website and it's going to give you some highlights about the 2018 and the 2019 tax law. When the law is changing, they can see when we are the version of the change right now. We've already it has already changed January 1st of 2018. The law did change and we're now about to live the 2018 19 year and file those 2018 tax that you lived all this year and that's where the surprise may be on a lot of people we don't know but let us go on with the process and this is how the new uh, tax law look my income uh, my irs tax tool is also going to give you some information about the, the the law itself and you may wish to consider adding a business under this new process because the, now the postcard tax return that we are having is going to entail you to have something other than the standard deductions. In a few minutes, we're going to show you what I mean about that. But check out this now. The one-time out-of-pocket $20 business startup. I mean, for one time, you can spend $20 and my, go down to money uh, is my plan B and money should be your plan B. If you're working a plan A for right now, your plan A is closed down. If you are a United States government employee, and that's a, quite a few, almost a million uh, employees, some are civilian, and then we've got the military people as well. Those are also government employees. But if you're an employee working for the United States government right now, the United States government is closed December of 2018. We may go into the new 2019 year. I don't know. I hope not. We may go into the 2019 year where our government closed. So that means your plan A is now closed. If you don't have a plan B, then you may not. Well, I'm not going to speculate, but your plan A is now closed. And I'm recommending that you go to my <laughs> money is my plan B. Take an understanding, listen at the information and for $20, start a plan B. And then for $20 from that point on, and I'm going to explain you how your plan B may just replace your plan a and so the next time your plan a is closed down if you close it down yourself it's closed if someone else closes it, it's closed but what we're talking about now you see on the screen this is the new postcard version of the new 2018 1040 form it's in a shorter form than what it used to were but the information uh that it takes to fill out the short form is much longer than it worked before it started processing over the past 50 years. I've never seen a postcard type, type of a, uh, uh, form as we have now. But nevertheless, let us go on. This is the back of the form. And I put the three hours on the back of the form to show you that there are three standard deductions that increase in this new law. If you are an individual, your standard deduction uh, is now at uh, 12000 and if you are a head of household individual, your standard deduction is at 18000 And if you're married filing jointly, then your standard deduction is at 24000 That's standard deduction. Now, the itemized deductions change the law. They change the itemized deduction. And it also changed the standard deduction. But the changes to the itemized deduction was a complete elimination of some deduction. Those deductions are no longer applicable for you to use as a means of reducing your liability or increasing your refund. And some of the existing itemized deductions, like the mortgage interest on your home, the tax you pay, those deductions were limited to a certain amount and it may force you to use the standard deduction. So make sure you pay close attention to what I'm going to be presenting in this process. Again, this is page two 
of the postcard, the 1040 postcard form, but you're going to need a, quite a few schedules. And let's talk about the schedule. Schedule one is the additional income and adjustment income. You're going to have to have this schedule and you may want to use this schedule as opposed to reporting your business income. Look at line 12 and this short form of this schedule that you need to prepare your 1040 postcard form is your business income losses and you have to test the schedule C or the schedule EZ. The business you see down in red, I put the business income loss must be recorded on the line 12 of the schedule that's coming from the schedule C of the 1040. So the information on the 1040 form didn't change other factor reporting the income. You would have to put your business income on the schedule one. And then if we're on this is schedule two, Schedule two is a tax. Should you decide to, I'm going to keep putting this question here because I really want you to consider all the information that I'm talk, talking about in this whole presentation is for you to consider spending that $20 to start this business one time. And now all you persons that have, that have known me for years, one thing I tell you that you need to have to reduce your tax liability are people, property, or properties, business, or businesses. And here are opportunities for both the husband and the wife to have businesses or a business, and that would be two businesses if you want to file a joint return. That would be two businesses on your tax return because it's most likely that the two of you incur expenses that the other one may not incur. And if you run a business, you're going to see what I'm going to present to you in a minute where the two of you can actually do basically the same thing but yet incur two different kind of expenses so let us go on with this process as we show this different schedules and schedule three is a non-refundable credits and you may have some non-refundable credits and you can see on the screen on uh, line 48 through 55 what those non-refundable credits can be i'm not going to go through the process of trying to explain the form which is going to show you the different kinds of schedules that you're going to need in order to complete the postcard 1040 form that we were talking about. And you're going to see what I'm putting the same information on each one of the schedules to show you that you have perhaps going to need a business once you get an understanding of these new schedules and what the bottom line of the 10 for the postcard is going to be. And most likely, if it's a red figure, that means you got to pay. And if it's a green figure, it's going to be much lower than what it ordinarily would have been on the post on their form before it went to a postcard form. Schedule four, uh, other tax. Make sure you stop this slide and get an understanding of the other kind of tax. And if you don't do that and you want to depend on someone else preparing your tax return, you can, I, I'm still here available for all of those of you who know me. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm here, still here available for you. And make sure you stop each slide, each schedule, and make sure you visit the information that I have and making suggestions for you. So if you're going to complete complete schedule for other tax and there are other tax that you pay or that you may have to pay. I want you to make sure you understand what the other tax are that's needed in order for you to forward the information to the form 1040. You notice now on each form, line 64 on this form, for example, is telling you that these are the total other tax and in a, here and online, the 1040, line 14. So you see all the information is carried forward from the schedules onto the postcard 1040 form. Look at schedule five. <laughs> schedule five are other payments. Now hear that word other payments and refundable credits and refundable credits. Hear that also to make sure you understand and look how many forms that in different information you gotta have in order to complete it. But yet and still look at line 75 is telling you where to report it on the postcard form 1040. So each one of the schedules are leading you back to the form 1040. It doesn't really matter about the forms. It's the information that you have on the forms. And if you have a business, people, property, or business, then the information will be different. If you don't have any of those people, no property, or property, or properties, or business, or businesses, then their information, you probably won't even need to schedule because you only have to take the standard deduction and you'll be finished in paying or either getting back a uh, refund. Here, Schedule 6 is the last schedule. I'm going to show you why foreign addresses and third party destiny. I'm, again, I'm only showing you these schedules in order for, to reemphasize over and over again that you should decide or should you decide to have a home based business for $20, one time out of pocket fee, you can have it. Now, the $10 a month is for you to have. And you make sure you visit Money Fund My Lifestyle. Visit that. 
and that's going to give you an idea of what your ten dollars per month is paying for which is for your business the startup fee the twenty dollars is to start up the business to operate the business money funds my lifestyle is going to show you how to operate the business and i'm going to show you why you would want to have the business to operate because it's all about your lifestyle only your lifestyle are we talking about and you're going to now make your lifestyle a business and your expenses that you incur in your lifestyle we're going to write it off on your income tax that's actually what we're talking about now should you decide you want to travel for your business then your travel expenses for your business is an also an expense and tax deductible for your business against you see so if you live in a lifestyle and you operate in your lifestyle business then your expenses that you incur for your lifestyle are also tax deductible so we're talking about two things here should you decide you want to travel one and your lifestyle is two you're going to have two regardless of whether you use one or not <laughs> because you you're going to live and all eight plus billion people on the globe lives now here is an example of the kind of expenses that you may want to incur. I went recently on a seminar at sea, and I'm on the beach here trying to show you that I have around my neck the product that I'm going to introduce to you in a few minutes to show you how I was conducting business on this seminar at sea when everybody else was there for a different cause. But I was there for just to show you what I'm showing you around my neck and my, uh, my gear that I have on is all representing my company. And everywhere I went on this seminar, I see I let the persons know who I am and what I was doing and why I was giving them the product that I was giving them that you see hanging around my neck. My sole purpose was to work the business. And this is what I'm tell uh, suggesting that you do, that you work the business. Now, my name is on my picture to show you that the kind of work environment that I had to endure in order to go through the process. Of conducting my business here are some of the expenses that you can deduct and go to money is my plan b.com money is my plan b.com and you're going to become an independent business owner because all of the persons that's represented in this process are considered to be independent business owner and as an independent business owner you're now going to incur some of these expenses your travel expenses your office expenses your airline and your support expenses your salary uh, contract labor all these different kind of expenses as an independent business owner you may have insurance or for yourself or travel insurance and things like that nature you may offer uh, remodel your office uh, different kind of expenses you're going to incur these are just some of some of the many many expenses that you uh, most likely are going to incur advertising the gasoline fuel etc that you're going to incur and this is just a few the additional expenses we're going to get into that for all those of you who know me and those who are going to get to know me we're going to get into those discussions later but one thing i want to emphasize that will probably leave this information is that save all all in any language is all all receipts bank statements for verification and offer disclosure for the information that we're going to have for operating this new business now the internal revenue anticipate on you having operated a business for a few years before you actually incur a uh, 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 that is uh, generate a profit you're going to generate some income regardless of what you do but the income that you produce may be less than the expenses and if it is that's an advantage for you to start this business process that's what the whole purpose is for is to show you how to live a lifestyle and let your lifestyle be an access to you then then uh, minus for you so make sure you maintain all receipts that you incur and this is just an example of some of the kinds of receipts that you can incur now you maybe have to do some of the things here now this is some of the lifestyle that you may have to incur in operating a business this is how i conducted this seminar at sea you see i'm at sea on on a, a kind of a ship and i am conducting business by all to see the persons laying down around and around the pool my job was to go around and ask them and to give them my business cards and my business card is my product my product is for me to operate my home-based business and my home-based business is a lifestyle and travel company so as a lifestyle traveling company i would give those persons on the who were on a cruise but yet myself i was at a seminar at sea i was not miss cruising cruising i was working to make sure everybody on the ship when they got off the ship they knew about 
my business and they left the ship with my product in their hand and when they go and use my product it'll show you how it benefited me and it will also benefit you in the process so that's what the purpose of me showing you the lifestyle that you may have to live you may have to relax on you know you may take a break and should you take a break this is some of the activities that you can indulge in taking a break from working your business and then generating in, in, in uh, expenses you, you you may have to have relaxed uh I don't know what, what you would do on your seminar C, but this is just to give an idea of the kind of relaxation that you may have to indulge yourself in while you're working your business, regardless of what it is. This is just to give an example of what took place on my uh, seminar C. And this is, uh, I could have had my children. I don't have any children, I have grandchildren, but I could have had those with me and I've had a daycare for them too. Uh, take care of them while I'm at work. <laughs> Same to do if I was here on, on land, I would have to have a daycare to pay for my daycare and I could let them enjoy themselves while I am conducting my seminar and see other parts of the uh, uh, activities that we're having to go undergo as well as operating this business seminar and see. So these are just a few of the things that the, that the seminar and see have produced. These persons here are relaxing. So once I saw these persons relaxing. I then went around and made sure that they get the products that I had. They were at the uh, tail end of the, uh, I guess it's called, a, uh, I don't know, but anyway, they were on, this, on the uh, back of the ship relaxing and I had to go and tell them about my business and make sure they had to left them when they left the ship. Uh, they had the product, my products in their hands. So now here, is a means to show you my cash back bank and what my cash back bank produces. Now, as a, a, a well, a IBO, an independent business owner of Good Life, and Good Life is a company that I represent, and you can saw that on all my gear and my hat that I wear to show them that I'm a I'm an independent business owner with Good Life. And when they go to my cash back bank website, they're going to come to my lifestyle uh, store. And when they come to my lifestyle store, they can buy an automobile, for an example. And the average savings on any automobile that they buy through Good Life is $3,383. Well, now you do the math. $3,383 and 15% of that would come back to the independent business owner. Of course, that would be you that you started your business for $20. And that person bought an automobile through your cashback business. That is going to give you $504.45. So imagine if 15 people did that in the course of a year, you see what your year would be if you, now you're doing the math. I don't know if it's going to be exactly like this, but that's what your year would be just for those persons, 15 people out of hundreds of millions of people going to your store and buying 15 cars in one year. That's what that would be. That's just using one example. There are thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Someone stop me examples that can use. Now, why they call it an employee auto buying? Because you become an independent business owner of Good Life. You're not an employee like the word per se what it is, but you are contracted with the Good Life as an independent business owner, and you are selling products of uh, purpose of buying. Let's say that people are buying products from your cash back bank. So make sure you go to my cash back bank and get an understanding of what we're talking about at my cash back bank. All right. And that will give you a better understanding of why you would want to be for sure that money funds your lifestyle. And money does fund your lifestyle. And it takes money to fund all lifestyles. Eight billion people on the world, in the world. And all eight billion people have a lifestyle. Now, in order for you to take advantage of this process, money is my plan B. Enroll, you must go to money is my plan B to enroll. Take out your debit card or credit card. Spend the $20 and now your business is started. Okay, your business is started to get detailed information about it. It's also at that same same website. The money is my plan B. They're going to give you a nine minute presentation that's to show you step by step what you're going to incur and how you're going to uh, resolve the, all of your issues. What money is my plan B and money funds my lifestyle is going to take you to your lifestyle shopping mall to show you how persons that live in a lifestyle can come to your mall like you go to all the malls that you go to 
and you have your Black Friday, and your every day of the week is a Black Friday for you because the person will go there and they buy at a huge discount in your mall. So we're only talking about you having your own lifestyle. How do you have that? This is the tool that I was giving away on the seminar C. Everyone that I met, I gave them a, a tool. The tool that I was giving away was a thousand dollar card for them to activate and spend a thousand dollars. Yep, my name was on the card. My activation code that you see is at the bottom is on the card. And I'm letting them know I'm a travel and lifestyle advocate, which is considered to be a TLA with Good Life and Travel 10 and Good Life. And Travel 10 is the same company. Travel 10 is the division of Good Life. And Good Life is the parent. And Travel 10 is, is a subsidiary or child of Good Life. And it's called the gift. So all I'm doing is giving the gift. The Diamond Review is the name of my company. And I put anything I want to on my card because I pay for the card and the card becomes mine. And I can put my own advertisements on my card. So I put my diamond review as my name of my company. And I am a lifestyle advocate. So I just put the diamondreviewlifestyle.com. And I'm referring them to Money Funds My Lifestyle, which and I want them to go to Money Funds My Lifestyle they, so they can see what money and why Money Funds My Lifestyle is. It does theirs as yours as well. So all I'm doing is advertising my business for ones to come to my business can see what we're talking about. Now, on the back, once the person gets the card, they're going to get a thousand dollars. And how does the company give them a thousand dollars? Well, you see the code, my activation code, my activation code is letting the company know that this person has activated their one thousand dollar card by me giving it to them. So my <clears throat> the income that I'm going to produce out of the thousand dollars, which is fifty percent, I get five hundred dollars when the person activate the card and spend the thousand dollars. And how they're going to spend a thousand dollars? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's how they're going to spend a thousand dollars. The company is going to send them a debit card with their name on it and your name on yours as well. And it's a Visa debit card. And when the person spends the money, they're going to spend a thousand dollars. Well, the thousand dollars now spent, they spent the, they get the value of a thousand dollars, but my contractors get 50% of what they spend. So my personal cash back bank, that's why I call it the cash back bank. My personal cash back bank goes into my cash back bank when they spend a thousand dollars is five hundred dollars so i produced the income now the seminar c that i was conducting those expenses that it cost me to go travel fly all the expenses that i incurred business expenses on the seminar c they are tax deductible against a thousand dollars you of the extra five hundred dollars that i earned so i can do this i can activate you by your iphone Yep, by your iPhone. So my mobile shopping mall is going to take you to my lifestyle cash back bank. It is all just that simple. Now, what I'm going to do at this process now, I'm going to let you listen to two videos. One of them is the internal revenue explaining how they are now conducting audits by mail. It's a video about audit by mail. And the other video is to show you how to enroll into this company and also to maintain the records that you're going to have to need just in case you ordered it by mail. And these days, there are tools that you can now scan all your receipts onto your onto your iPhone or into whatever means you have to scan your receipts. And should you uh, audit it by mail, you can simply email all the receipts that you want to be emailed by mail to the persons at Internal Revenue asking you to send the information that they're auditing by mail. So you don't really have to touch the receipts. All you gotta do is email them and mark on the receipts what they are and show the proof and verification that we showed you a few minutes ago, the verification as to how you have incurred those expenses conducting the $20 business that you started. So watch the two videos and then we're gonna continue with the process, all right? Hi, I'm Shannon and I work for the Internal Revenue Service. We conduct many types of audits each year to verify income and expenses claimed on tax returns. Many of these audits are conducted by mail. So what do you do if you receive a letter that says the IRS is auditing your tax return by mail? First, be sure to read your letter carefully. The letter explains the issues involved and outlines the types of information you need to send to us. We may ask for an itemized list of the expenses or deductions in question. 
If you're not able to verify an amount claimed, just explain the issue and how you determine the amount reported on your tax return. After you've collected the requested information, attach photocopies of your documents to the audit letter you received. Use the envelope and close with your letter to send the information back to us. However, if your documents don't fit in the envelope, send us the information by using the address on the envelope. Don't send original documents, and it is always a good idea to keep copies of everything you send. Your letter has a fax number if you prefer to fax your information. But if you're faxing your documents, include your name and social security number on each page to ensure all pages are associated with your case file. Be sure to send your documents to us within 30 days. If you can't meet the deadline, call the number on the letter to discuss your situation and request additional time. After we receive your information, we'll review it. Then, you'll get another letter accepting your information or proposing changes to your tax return. If we propose changes to your tax return, this letter will also include two forms. Form 4549, Income Tax Examination Changes, which explains the proposed changes to your tax return, and Form 886A, Explanation of Items, which describes the specific changes and the reasons for them. If you understand and agree with the proposed changes, sign and date Form 4549. Use the envelope we provided to return the form with your payment. If you disagree with the proposed changes, you have the right to appeal, both within the IRS and before the courts. An explanation of how to appeal is included in the letter. Also, Publication 3498A, the examination process, audits by mail, is available on our website, irs.gov. This publication tells you what you need to do and explains your responsibilities and rights during and after an audit. Meanwhile, our website has information about what to do if you owe additional taxes, such as paying your tax bill or applying for an online payment plan. Remember, if you pay your tax bill in full, you will reduce the amount of interest and penalties you will owe. For more information about audits, go to irs.gov slash audit. Welcome to The Gift. In the next few minutes, I'm going to ask you to make a yes or no decision. It's a decision that will impact your life forever, and it's also the easiest decision you'll ever make. My name is Mark Seaforth, founder and CEO of Travel 10, The Gift, and several other travel companies. I wanted to personally share this story with you because of my deep passion and sincere excitement for what you're about to see and hear. Maybe once in your lifetime, something comes along that is really different, something that can impact your life forever, something that is truly easy, something that actually saves you thousands of dollars year in and year out, something that can give you a life-changing income, something where you can't fail, you can only succeed, something that is fun and exciting. What I've just described is the gift. The person who shared this gift with you has already told you that if you can say no to the gift, you will receive a $1,000 gift card. So, for the next few minutes, simply watch and listen closely and then make your yes or no decision. Either way, you win. So let's get started. The gift is about answering two questions. First, would you spend $10 a month to save yourself thousands of dollars every year, and I mean literally thousands of dollars, on all the things that you love to do? Yes or no? Second question, would you spend $10 a month for a business to make thousands of dollars a month, month in and month out, and quite possibly become wealthy without ever having to sell anything? Yes or no? Of course you'd answer yes to each question if you believed it was real. So let me share with you the story of the gift and how real this is. You join Travel 10 as a travel and lifestyle advocate, TLA, for $20 a month. That's your total risk. 
You now have private access to the world of travel and lifestyle benefits at true wholesale pricing. This is pricing that's not available to the public. Secondly, you now own a business that makes you money simply by sharing the gift with others. And whether they say yes or no, you still make money. Now think about that. It sounds incredible and impossible, but as you will see, you can only win. I'll explain how in just a minute. First, let's go back to question one of the gift and prove how spending $10 a month can easily save you thousands of dollars a year on all the things you love to do. It starts with a $40 million travel technology platform that you get to use as if you owned it yourself. Vacations and travel together make up the largest business industry in the world, creating revenues of more than a trillion dollars a year. Folks, that's a big number. Today, almost all travel is booked online or direct with the hotels. Either way, you're paying retail. With Travel 10, you'll be paying wholesale for your vacations and travel for the rest of your adult life. How smart is that? Here's how we do it. Before Travel 10, when you booked your vacation or travel online, you were booking only through Expedia or Priceline. That's right, they own all the others. That in itself is a big surprise to most because you don't have the choices you think you have. Plus, you are paying public or retail pricing. Travel 10 is the exact opposite. Travel 10 is private access, not available to the public, and therefore provides the same hotel or resort at wholesale pricing. Let's take a look at a real-time example. You are looking at a screenshot from Travel 10's hotel and resort website. The example shows a three-day stay in Orlando. If you look at the drop-down window, the lowest public price is $592. Your price through Travel 10 is $349. You save $242. Now that's a serious savings. Let's look at a one-week international stay in Rome, Italy. Personally, it's one of my favorite places in the world to visit. The public price is $1,444. Your price through Travel 10 is $873. You saved $571. Again, a big savings. And think about this. We only showed two examples of more than 500,000 plus hotels and resorts worldwide for you to choose from. As you've seen by the examples, it would be easy to save $1,000 on your annual vacation or travels. But what if you're not traveling? Travel 10 can still save you hundreds of dollars every month on all the other things you like to do close to your home. Sporting events, entertainment, amusement parks, save a real 10 to 20%. Movies, save 40% on tickets. Dining out, spend $20 to save $100. Even with your everyday shopping, you save serious dollars. This all happens through your Travel 10 subscription, which is not available to the general public. For me, what makes the gift and Travel 10 so exciting is that it is 100% real, a true value proposition for every person in America. No games, no gimmicks, just tremendous savings every day of your life. And since you're now in the travel business, there are even tax benefits for much of what you do, which means even more dollars back in your pockets. And the best part is yet to come, the answer to question two of the gift and how spending $10 a month to own your own business can easily make you thousands of dollars monthly. I know it sounds ridiculous to say own a business for $10 monthly and make thousands monthly, but again, it's 100% real. So let's look at how simple and easy it is to build a lifetime residual income from simply sharing the gift. Someone shared the gift with you, either person to person or through social media. By doing the same thing, this is what you can earn. This example is based on you having 10 people who want what the gift has to offer. It could be much less, one, two, or three people personally, or way more than 10. No matter what you do, you win. When a person joins Travel 10, they become a travel and lifestyle advocate, for short a TLA, and a customer. The example is based on each TLA having only one customer, only one. All commissions are based on customer subscriptions. By default, most people will have five or more customers, which makes this income example much larger than shown. Your goal is to have 10 TLAs in the first 30 days. With the gift and what this business offers, that's pretty easy to do. But if it takes longer, who cares? Look at what 10 TLAs with only one customer each creates an income for you. The first generation is $10 a month in income. 
In effect, each TLA, who also is a customer with one customer, equals $1 in income per month per TLA to you. The second generation of income is based on 10 TLAs, each getting 10, or a total of 100, which equals $100 per month. The third generation equals 1,000 TLAs as customers with only one customer, each making you an additional $1,000 per month. The next generation equals $10,000 per month in income to you. And it goes on through eight generations at 10% of all customer commissions. And all it takes to qualify to receive income on your ninth and 10th generation is two more customers. Of course, the illustration shows you what can happen, but this is not a guarantee of income. Yet, a little work can go a long ways. And whether you have one person on your first generation or 30, dreams do come true. It's totally up to you. Now it's time to make your decision. But first, one more little surprise. Remember, you were told that if you can say no to the gift, which is this amazing, life-changing opportunity, you would receive a $1,000 gift card for saying no. And that's true. You'll be given private access to Travel 10's hotel and resorts booking engine that you can use at no cost until you've used up $1,000 in real savings. But here's the wow factor. When you save a legitimate $1,000, the person that shared the gift with you receives $500 cash. Yes, that's correct, $500 in cash. And you don't care because you saved a real $1,000. Imagine that. You say yes and join Travel 10. You and the person that shared the gift with you both win. You say no and accept your $1,000 gift card with no strings attached. You and the person that shared this with you both win. There's nothing like this in existence. To summarize, the gift in Travel 10 is a simple and affordable business that every person on the planet can own. There's no selling involved because a yes is good and a no is good. You have a tremendous product value that saves you more than you spend by a very large margin. And finally, the gift is easy to replicate, which results in a very nice, ever-growing residual income. And there is nothing better than residual income. And it pays you every month, month in and month out, for the rest of your life. Thank you for taking the time to look at the gift. And without a doubt, the best opportunity in America. Now it's your turn to make your yes or no decision. Click on the Your Choice button below to decide what's best for you. Okay, now, here is the third card I wanted to show you. This is a, it's actually 3000 The other card had 1000 Well, this is a $2,000 card. So I was giving away the $2,000 card, and I was also giving away the $1,000 card at the Seminar C. And on the Seminar uh, C, I had the same information that you see here on the card, and a person can call me and activate this $2,000 card, or... They can simply go to the back and follow the advice on the back. And you see on the back where it says number one, step one. There's only three steps to activate the card. The first step is to take and visit the website at 2kvipclub.com. That's 2kvipclub.com. When, when they go there, it's going to bring up the information for them to put into the uh, an activation code, which is you see the TK0003123, that's the activation code. It's not a, a real activation code, but that will be your activation code on the back of your $2,000 card. So in the, when I give you your $2,000 card, it's going to be, it'll be my information on the back of the $2,000 card. So everybody got their own activation code. Or you can simply call me and I will give you your activation code. The card is in, uh, insignificant because what it takes to activate the card or the information that you're going to get from the company, because the company is going to send you your own Visa card, and you can to get that card, you would have to have the code activated by the company to put it on the card. So then when you get your card, it's then activated under the code. So I really don't need your name as well. I would like to have your name and your email address for communication purposes and for growth purposes for you and to pass on information that you would need as an independent business owner talking to another independent business owner. But to get your activation code right now, just call the information, leaving your information, your phone number, 
and the number what you can call you back on. Doesn't have to be your own personal phone number, doesn't have to be your own personal name. It's just a mean for me to get back with you to show you what you will need in order to start this twenty dollar business one time fee out of pocket and ten dollars a month for you to have the operations going on. Okay, so I'm about concluding with this now, but I just wanted to show you the three thousand dollars that you actually be in. It's actually thirty two hundred because we also have a two hundred dollar card that we have and that's a means also we have three different kinds of cards and all of them are travel and lifestyle card. We have a two hundred dollar card that we started with initially and we still have that. We also have the two thousand dollar card. That was the second card that we introduced and then later on in the year twenty eighteen we introduced the two uh, the one thousand dollar card. So we actually give away thirty two hundred dollars and that's all part of the independent business owner process. Now remember this now we're in a multi-trillion dollar industry why does the company do this because the company are using the thirty two hundred dollars that they're actually giving to you to start your business and also to start your lifestyle and also they use it as an advertising process they don't advertise because we're a private company we don't advertise our, our business other than the fact that the independent business owner are the advertising agents for good life good life is a wholesale company, not a retail company. As you see on the back of the card, we are a travel and wholesale. We've got a wholesale company. We don't travel. We don't, we don't, nothing is retail. We all 100% wholesale. We're a private company. That you need to know. And the reason for that is because the savings are so much greater. The savings are so much greater. I said again, the savings are so much greater. And we contribute monies to the, uh, as you see at the uh, on the card, we contribute thousands and thousands of dollars to the cancer center, so research center for children. So uh, we're not going to get involved in a lot of that. I just want to emphasize to you what you hand on when you get involved with us. Again, I'm concluding this now. I'm just giving you some of the activities that will took place at the seminar C. You can see all the C behind me. We're on our uh, cruising down to Nassau. And the sea is behind me, and this is on the vessel that we were on. And I'm displaying to you how I'm advertising. And I have the card in my hand. Everybody I meet, I have a card in my hand and the cards around my neck. And I replenish the cards in my pocket with the cards around my neck to let the persons know that the gear I'm wearing, you see the shirt that I'm wearing, that's also had the Good Life logo on it. The cap has a Good Life logo on it. And we are actually working on the ship at a seminar at sea. Now, the other persons were cruising, but my, me alone were working. And I'm talking quite a few hours a day because I want to make sure that everyone on the ship that got off had information in their hand. This is where my wife and I are leaving the airport in Charleston, South Carolina. And you can see my gear around my neck, my cars is around my neck. And I got my gear, my cap, was, good life was on my cap under my glasses and my T-shirt is Good Life USA as an independent business owner. I am actually conducting business. And that's what I'm explaining to you, that the lifestyle that you're talking about. Now, here, it, we've got two in one. I'm living the lifestyle, of course, and at the same time, I'm traveling. But I don't always travel. I'm doing this only to show you that when I do travel, it's a business trip. I don't go from point A to point B anymore unless I am conducting business. I have to go from point A to point B, but I might as well be doing something productive while I'm doing it. So this is a means to show you how I was actually conducting a seminar at sea. And the mode of travel was both airline. I had to travel from point A to point B to get to Charleston, South Carolina. And I had to fly back to my destination, coming back from Charleston, South Carolina. And I took a ship out of Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina to Nassau and, and other places. But what I'm suggesting to you to give you an understanding is that I was traveling. Now, your personal $20 business link is that money funds my lifestyle. Make sure you go there and make sure you, if you have a need to contact me, money, my IRS tax tool at Gmail is where you can contact me. You want to enroll at money is my plan B 
you can roll enroll there. That's where your enrollment form is for you to spend the twenty dollars. Take the one debit or credit card out, spend twenty dollars one time. You don't have to do that anymore. That's the enrollment fee. But at the second month, you're gonna get a ten dollar bill from the company. They're gonna debit your credit your card for ten dollars to pay for your money funds my lifestyle website. If you can understand what I'm saying. Now to get your activation code, then you wanna call. 1301-328-1259 and I will give you the activation code. You don't have to have the card in your hand to get the activation code. I will give you an activation code and once you enroll, you are now enrolled as an independent business owner operating a business that no one would have known about had you not uh, started your business. It's a travel and a lifestyle company. It's travel and lifestyle business. $20 one time out of pocket to start it Ten dollars a month, both of them are tax deductible. And if the ten dollars are going to break you, then, well, I won't say that. But I want to conclude this. Now, my name is David Richardson, as I've said earlier, and here I have one of the biggest lobsters I've, I've ever seen, and this is in uh, Nassau, where we uh, now uh, can uh, duck the biz, and you can see all my information I have on. I have on. Uh, various different kind of uh, gear that I wear to advertise my business. To hear my cap is black, but it means to go up a different color. And this is my total operation for me to conduct business. Now, I'm not at sea here. I'm actually uh, in Nassau here. But at the same time, I'm also conducting business in Nassau. All the shops I go in, I conduct business and give versions my business card and ask them to join me in the process and to let me put a take one of these cards in their business so that people will come to Nassau from all over the world and then I'm conducting business of the 8 billion people in the world so you have to get an idea of what I'm talking about I am a business person and this is a means for me to do my business I do want to thank you for taking the time to let me take up so much of your valuable time I've been doing this now for almost 40 minutes but I hope that the 40 minutes or the time that we're spending together is going to give you the mindset to take advantage of this opportunity. It's it's not gonna break you. It's, it's $20 to start it one time, and then $10 a month <clears throat> is an operating expense for you. Now, there are people that spend millions of dollars a month to operate their businesses, and it's just as you will perhaps do that at some point as a starting point for everything and for everybody, and I hope for you to take advantage of this. So make sure you go to Money Is My Plan B that's the enrollment form and money funds my lifestyle is where you're going to get an information of the kind of lifestyle that you're going to end up regardless of what are your if you're a retired individual and you don't do this then that's the the law is designed to take your money if you're not retired and you're working and you want to work a, uh, a start up a plan b <clears throat> then i recommend that you do it because even right now across the united states of america your plan a if you're working for the united states government is closed down and some of the operations that's connect with the government also closed because they depend on the government for a lifestyle and to operate their business. So once our government closed, it pretty much closed down everything. I want to thank you again <clears throat> for letting me take up your time. This is going to be a 40 minute uh, video. <clears throat>